with a gasoline-drenched mop, Coahuila Governor Ruben Valdez lit a marijuana bonfire. <laughs> Mexican officials say the two-ton pile of dope was headed to Texas. <laughs> Border Sheriff Tom Schmerber is pleased with a burn that kept an estimated $2 million worth of pot from crossing into the U.S. Drugs that are being burned right now, or drugs that are not going to go past to Murray County. I feel very happy for that. In front of a crowd of local, state, and federal Mexican officials, Governor Valdez stressed the importance of combating the cartels. El narcotráfico saying the drug dealer is an enemy to our society, and everyone needs to understand that clearly. A reminder that the Zetas remain a regional threat came in the way of heavily armed Mexican law enforcement providing protection for the dozens witnessing the burn. Schmerber and Maverick County Commissioner Roberto Ruiz accepted the Coahuila governor's invitation to watch the dramatic spectacle. This gathering follows last week's meeting in Eagle Pass hosted by the sheriff. Coahuila Attorney General Homero Ramos Gloria represented Mexico and Texas. Hopefully this will demonstrate kind of like a an example between the Maverick County and the town of Coahuila, uh, Piraneras and the state of Coahuila. I'm hoping that the other counties will do the same with the other their neighbors. Much smaller amounts of cocaine, heroin, and drug paraphernalia were included in the fire. Destroyed as well, hundreds of boxes of illegal booze. The Texas sheriff wants state officials to know he crossed the border for a reason. The officials from Austin, you know, should have this communication with the officials from Piranetas and Coahuila. A lesson in cross-border diplomacy that seems to be heating up in this region. John Salazar, Time Warner Cable News.